yeah, I think this would work for uh, other introverts and analytical thinkers. Solemn yeah. responsibilities. It's really like your new identity now, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm the kind of guy who approaches. Yeah. And what does a guy do? He approaches. It's the second time today a girl gives me ice cream. Yeah, I was thinking about this. <laughs> like, you're getting free ice cream left and right. Yeah. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. What's up? I want to talk to you. Hello. <laughs> Uh, you're cute. Thank you. Uh, Bruh. Hmm, didn't work. She feels really special now. She doesn't feel like you. she's the 10th girl that you're talking to on the escalator. Yeah. Because it's so rare. You're deciding it, you're leading it. Like, okay, this is what it is, you know? Yeah, we're going. Like, we're doing it. Yeah. I decided. Honey, me mega, but yeah, she's a style. You know, way that we dress and ran out of Italian. New chain busting. Wow. You know, like, oh my God. Whoa. Impressive. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful here. You, you, you should come. This is the final episode with Constantine. So if you enjoyed this series, let us know in the comments and say thank you to Constantine being so brave and putting himself out there to the world to judge, to watch, to observe. If you're inspired by him and you want to transform your life, we still have a few spots left for the June workshop with the Natural Lifestyles, James Marshall leading the entire workshop in Budapest where I'm right now. The April one is happening right now and the guy's getting incredible results. They're crushing their fears, they're overcoming bad beliefs and they're mainly meeting ladies and making beautiful connections. So if you want to do the same, you can do it in June. If you want to work with me long term, you can also find the link below. So check the description, leave a like and please enjoy the last episode with Constantine. Uh, the, two days ago, I didn't sleep much and uh, I felt actually depressed. I only realized when I saw some pictures of my face, I was like completely down. Uh, but uh, yesterday with Liam, I had a good time. He taught me a lot and uh, really pushed me to go out of my comfort zone, made me approach a girl three times in a row, just like run after her. <laughs> I was crazy, but uh, it was good. Today I feel awesome. I uh, just gave people some compliments on the way here. And uh, just I feel good and I feel more connected to people. A good two minutes, she was like almost at the crossing. Mm -hmm. I ran up to her, but she was like, I'm talking on the phone. Uh, so you walked behind her for a while and then you gave up? Oh, no, I ran after her. I yeah. called her when she was crossing the street. Yeah. Ah. And I said, hi, how are you doing? Okay. But she, you know, she said, I'm on the phone, go away. Oh, okay. Well, good. You already did the first. I hate these, I mean, hate, I don't know. It's just like so weird, these street musicians that don't play. Oh, like he's, he's not just doing playing. this. Uh, I see, I see. Uh, uh, he doesn't move his fingers. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to play. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's still trying. good music and sufficient. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh my God, it's hot. Yeah? You're still recording? You look lovely. Have a nice day. <laughs> Damn, you are... Uh, <laughs> You're faster than me now. <laughs> I'm on, dude. <laughs> I, I missed her. No, I mean, I was looking in that direction and yeah. she, were, she came through here before, looked at me. So I like ah. felt like I had to approach her. She's hot. Yeah. Wow. I, also then, to the, I also talked to the girl in the stall thing. In the store? In the, in the ice cream store, yeah. Oh, wow. She gave me free ice cream. <laughs> well, free just, ice cream? Well, not completely, like not a full cone, but she oh, gave wow. me. Like a spoon of <laughs> Damn boys, listen up. If you master this skill, you get free ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, you're bawling out now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You know, like when I exited the apartment, I was yeah. feeling actually kind of anxious. But then I said, I saw a cute girl uh, sitting. Yeah. And I, I kind of like walked past her thinking like, fuck, you know, I don't felt me feeling like resistance. And I was like, I just turned around and said, you're cute. It's your responsibility now. It's I talked even, to a girl today as well. Yeah, dude, it's not even like the fact that I'm a guy that approaches it's that I no longer like resist my own feelings. Yeah. Like I see a cute girl, I just go talk to her. Or at least say she's cute. I think she's cute. You, you guys matching outfit. She's wearing a green sweater as well. Which, oh, that one there. Let's see. Big nose. Yeah, though. might be nice though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not your type? Okay. Uh, we can sit there. Like it's so much easier when I actually want to, you know? <laughs> yes. Wow. Hello. Sexy body. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> oh, she looked back? Yeah, she looked back. Look back again. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe she turns around. Ah, she's. She Come to me. 
<laughs> Marsh teased us. There she goes, this way. Mm. I'm just trying it out. Ah, there she goes. Yeah. We talked about direct openers, so we're gonna. Did you practice that a little bit, or should we practice that today? Direct openers. Forming good openers for people. Oh, so like when you say, look at someone passing and you think, how yeah. would I open them? Yeah. Let's and do that today mm -hmm. for like 10 minutes. Yeah. You're yeah. deciding it, you're leading it. Like, okay, this is what it is, you know? Yeah, we're going. Like we're doing it. Yeah. I decided. And when you look at him, he moves his fingers a little more. Mm -hmm. It's like, how, how does it feel to live a lie like that? Like every day. Like he's basically... You know, it's like living, living, having a second identity as a violin player. It's, just, it's like a second family that he's hiding. And then today we can also train to get in front, actually, because yeah. otherwise you're not going to do it, and you need to learn to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, easy to get lazy with that shit. Yeah. Why do you? Why would you have to max out money if you already have what you want? Yeah, and I already get the hot girls. You know, most people who work so hard, they do it to get because, something yeah. in the end, and I already have that. It yeah. doesn't mean I'm not motivated to do it all myself and I love business as a game, mm -hmm. but if somebody gives me $10 million now, I wouldn't even know if my life would change at all. Like I would still live here, mm -hmm. I would still have the same apartment, I would still do what I do every day. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't change my life. Probably wouldn't change mine too much either. Uh, yeah, I mean you have to work on yourself, right? Exactly. That's not so expensive. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like the take only, coaches really, and execute. The only thing that changed when I got money was that I could get personal trainers. I could get coaches. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good level when you can pay some people. Yeah, that is huge. It gets you out of the doing everything yourself rut or trying to motivate yourself in five fronts. Mm -hmm. Like you're basically outsourcing motivation by paying a trainer. Yeah, exactly. And then you can use that saved motivation to make more money. And that's kind of like monk mode as well. I'm outsourcing accountability. <laughs> <laughs> we all do to each other. And then it's kind of like, it's kind of crazy, like. Yeah, and that's exactly how I saw my personal trainer. Because I knew like, when I go to the gym alone, I usually stop going after like two, three months. Yeah. Because it's just like, one and day. And mainly I... you don't push as hard in the gym as well. Yeah, but it when just... I have, when I have this guy waiting for me, I just feel like, well, I have to go. Yeah. Because he's there. 100%. Yeah, my trainer pushed me just to the level where my muscle actually grows. Oh my god. You gonna say something? Yeah, why not? I would have approached her. Mm. I'll do it. Okay. Oh. Young lady, hello. Hi. Sorry. I'm running. Uh, you look wonderful. I like your outfit. You have a good vibe. What's up? Uh, where are you from? I'm, I live here now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, cool. But I'm from Austria. Austria? Oh, yeah. I think it's Deutsch. Ich Deutsch. Where are you from? Cool. I'm from the US. I'm ah. half Bulgarian, half American. So your mom is Bulgarian? Yeah. And your dad is American. American. Yeah. And you decided to live here rather than in the US? I'm studying right now and working a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what is that accent? I don't know, it's Boston. hard for me. Boston, yeah, okay. Boston. Boston is like, is it like New York and then two hours yes, up? Yes, exactly. Okay, I've been only to New York City, and a little bit Jersey, and one time in LA. Your so. English is so amazing. <laughs> Do you really? Thank you. I, I speak English pretty much all the time. I use German for work, but my German isn't like, <laughs> I speak way more English now than German. And actually when I spend time with my parents, I struggle coming up with words here and there, I, which is so uh, yeah. weird, like losing, I'm not losing my mother tongue, but. If you go back and you're in that environment, you'll get it back super quick. Cause I lost sure. my Bulgarian cause I was in the US for like 10 years. So. Mm, that makes sense. But it's back. Is it coming back? Yeah. Uh, I've been here for like two years. Okay. I moved here in April. Oh, so you're new. How's yeah, it been fresh. treating you? <laughs> I love it. I lived before. Me and my business partner, like we're a little bit in Budapest, then we lived in Ukraine. Then the war started and we traveled a lot. Yeah. And now we chose this as a new base. Like I'm here like half the time. 
good choice. Yeah. I love Tokyo, honestly. Yeah, me too. It's so, you know, I have a pretty hectic life, so it's very calming. Like, I still need the infrastructure of a capital. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to be in, like, London or New York. It's, like, so hectic. Or Dubai, you know. It's also so overpriced. Yeah. Like, your sta my standard of living, if I was living in the U.S., would like, like, I know, and yeah. <laughs> New York is like, oh. Uh, what's your name? Alex, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. So you, where are you heading? You walked pretty fast. Uh, yeah, I have to like get some documents. So if you want to like exchange socials or something, because I really do have to run. Okay, give me your. You use WhatsApp? Uh, yeah. Okay, I use WhatsApp. I got water on my phone. So you have two passports? Yeah. That's nice. Uh, zero eight eight. Uh, four four. You're just translating. And <laughs> nine two. Nine two. Wait, I can call. It's, you got it right. I yes, also have a Bulgarian. It. Oh, how is that so fast? Because it's local, I guess. Okay. Do you have a Bulgarian SIM card now? Yeah, yeah. I'm all set up. Everything. Oh, cell providers here fucking suck. Cell? Which one? All of them. Yeah. In what way? Uh, well, it's expensive, the service isn't that good. I don't know, I love it. It's super fast. Really? It's the fastest mobile internet I've ever experienced. Well, yeah, it is fast, but... Did a spider just land on my cup? Wow, look at that. You see that? Yeah, I do, oh my god. Wow. Um, no, it's really fast. I don't know, for me it's okay. Um, it's a little bit overpriced for what it is because I had unlimited for 20 bucks a month in the US and here it's like 50 yeah. level for unlimited for TV, Wi Fi, and like. I don't know. Spending so much money, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it's like, how much is that? Like six bucks or five? Um, but, well, okay, I don't want to hold you up. We're just <laughs> chatting about mobile stuff. Uh, I will text you and then you run and then we text okay, and then something will happen and then enjoy your day. You too, have a Bye, good see ya. There she goes. There she goes. How was it? Cute girl. From the US. Mm -hmm. But her mother is Bulgarian. Mm -hmm. So she's been here for two years. Did she have a boyfriend or what? Hmm? Did she have a boyfriend or what? I don't think so. She was very happy, she was very nervous, she was shaking at the beginning. Like I could let you choose, but then we walk around so long. That's true. Like I want you to just bam bam bam, practice, you know? It's better to talk to girls than not talking to girls. Yeah. I mean, it's like when I actually see a girl and I like and I feel like there's a big good vibe. Yeah, you're good at that. If I'm warmed up, there's like no resistance. I just go and do it. Yeah, you can do that from tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, just, very well. I'm just going to do what you say. Interact with people. Yeah. And you can even do a social approach. You can say, hey, girls, you look friendly. I'm new in town. I just want to meet people. You know, you don't have to say, oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, you? You're cute. I just wanted to talk. Sorry? You're cute. I just wanted to talk to you. Thank you, but I'm in a hurry because. Oh. I'm... Is it fine if I walk with you for a sec? I prefer to walk alone. Oh, that's all right. Okay. See you, bye. Okay. Did I fuck something up there? Uh, I listened too late, but I mean, she was kind of like, "Do you need something?" And then when she realized, yeah, was, I didn't. She just wasn't into it, so it's fine. Yeah. Wow, the girl behind us is cool. You can practice the front stop. Mm. Hi, sorry. How are you doing? Oh, you don't speak English? No. That's all right then. But you're cute. Stop, you think I'm I think I'm going to use it as a Ah! You what? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye bye. Oh, why did you leave? She was so excited. She what? She was so excited. Yeah. Why yeah. did you leave her? Because she doesn't even speak English. Ich do. And what? Like, I mean, it's weird. No, it's I don't not. really want to. Imagine sitting next to her, touching, mm -hmm. only talking with hands, escalating. <laughs> like she was so excited. Yeah. Imagine you could take her home in 15 minutes. That's possible, yeah. Would that be exciting? It would Even be. without speaking English? Yeah. Like, that would be crazy, right? Mm. Just like, let's sit down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Give me your hands. Like, all of Google Translate. You're so cute. I have secrets. Going closer to her. Kissing her. Yeah. Wow, you're so sexy. Mm. Let's chill at home. Okay, sex. Would that be cool? Yeah, it would be. You, ha you have to have that idea in mind for it to happen. Yeah. Uh, talk to that one. Which one? She looks more serious. This one with the glasses and that's yeah. on. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How's your day going? Pardon? How's it? Oh, your English is so good. Oh, thank you. I just want to say you're cute. Oh, thank you. How's your day going? My day is going well. Awesome. Where are you from? Romania. Czech Bine, tu? <laughs> Stai vorbești română? No? I don't speak Romanian. Oh, okay. I was like shocked, like, no, oh my I, god. I only speak English, Bulgarian, French, Serbian. Oh, only, only French and Serbian. And, yeah, mm. So, what are you doing? I was just out with my friends, they're here somewhere, I forgot where they are. Are you visiting? Yeah. On holidays? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so do you like it? Yeah, I have to say it's awesome. I love the parks, especially in the trees, the nature. Pardon? I love the parks, the trees and the nature. If you like nature, this is probably not the place to be. You, you think so? go to the mountains and like some small villages. <laughs> I mean, I don't like nature Bulgarian, like, that much. Out. No? Okay, fair enough. I'd probably go to like... here for the nightlife or...? <laughs> no, actually I have some friends and we just met up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And what are you doing? Do you study? Do you... Like right now or in general? No, in general, like do you study? Do you work? Okay, so I just finished my French lesson right now. Mm -hmm. Overall, I started my master's degree last week and I'm going insane. Because I chose a different program for my bachelor. And it entails economics and statistics, something that I've never done before in my life. Because I did international relations and European law for mm -hmm. my bachelor. So I'm pretty much going insane because I'm trying to maintain having a social life, yeah. working part time, doing my master's degree, and learning a new language. So, yeah. have you been to England, by the way? Because I have an English accent. Yeah. I was born in Canada, raised. I've I've been all over the place. Like I've been moving up and down a lot. Mm. So I've lived in the U.S. I've lived in Canada. Um, I've been in the U.K. a couple of times. Yeah. I, I went to an English school in Cyprus, so, yeah. But my parents are fully Bulgarian, so, I see. yeah. No, you're really good, actually. Thank you. Your English is good, too. Yeah, I spend all the time on the internet, so it's... I basically think in English at this point. How old are you? I'm 27. And how old are you? 21. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, well, um, I have to go, yeah. so have a nice day. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm going to go home and study and then I have a lecture mm. 6 to 9 and then I'm going to try to work out in between. So You're going to try to work out in between as well? Yes. You keep busy? Yes. Well, I'd love to get your Instagram so we could chat, maybe meet up again. I mean, I, I don't know you. Oh, kind well, of random. it is. Uh, you don't have to, but I'd love to. I'd love to get your Instagram. Sure. Cool. How long are you staying for? Mm, about a week. Let's see, where do you... There you go. Where do you live in Romania? Blavisht, it's like an hour from Bucharest.
I suppose you live in Sofia now? Currently, yes, I'm leaving soon though. Oh. Awesome. I have a lot of Romanian friends. You are like everywhere I see. Yeah. Basically. Miss International. My life in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll I wish you a lovely day. Bye. You too. Bye bye. So, what's your feedback to yourself? Still too surface conversation. Yeah. Uh, she's, yeah, I mean, she was like traveling everywhere and whatnot. I could have like dived deeper on any of those. I just didn't really know how in the moment. Yeah, I mean, she was a cool girl, right? Yeah. Like languages, traveling, yeah. studying, knows what she wants, has been around yeah. people and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, I mean, I'm stricter today because it's our last day, but here your game falls apart. Like, clearly she's like, Nah, no, nope. he's that he doesn't match me. Yeah. Right. She was like, I need to go. I don't know you. Yeah. Why would I give you Instagram? All right, have a nice day. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what you hear presented to her is just like, this is how a date will be with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how will a date be with you based on that? Surface, not very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's just like, ah, I'm, I'm uh, so much to do, this is happening, da, da da my studies, I'm doing my bachelor, I'm doing this, I'm also working on the side, and you're like, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Like, super boring, right? It's like, she wouldn't want to sit there for an hour and talk about and not, not get any reward. You try it a bit, I get it, you know, you're like, okay, Miss International a little bit, but yeah. you were very much just like asking a question, she gave a lot and you even almost interrupted her yeah. or jumped in and then just like like she one example was she gave you a lot and you're just like you ever been to england like you're changing the topic you don't even like she could have said anything yeah, yeah. and you just like yeah i see by the way you've been in england and then again she gives you a lot and then you just say cool so what are you doing today oh uh, yeah <laughs> it's just like you know nobody no high value girl will be impressed because it's just like, eh, doesn't match me. Mm -hmm. You can impress some girls with the opener. And even that was like, you look cute. Like you, now you're relying on the confidence that you stop girl and give them a cute compliment. Right? Yeah, yeah. But you see how far it gets you mm -hmm. once you level up with certain girls. Yeah. So yeah, opener, very basic. Conversation, very basic. Response to her answers, very basic. Yeah. Way to close, very basic. Not committed really and not just no emotion in it as well. It wasn't like, wow, you know, like, oh my God, whoa, impressive. Yeah. Damn, cool to meet a person like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I haven't met a person like that in a while. Whoa, yeah. that's sick, da, da, da. It's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If she's, like, she was highly activated and you were very low key, which is, I mean, it's very cool that you can hold pressure like that and you're very chill. Mm -hmm. Like, that is a huge strength of yours. But you need to know when to be taken aback by a girl a bit, yeah. you know, and get infatuated by her energy. Like you have to vibe on a similar frequency. Yeah, I mean, truth is all, I haven't met a person like that before. That's yeah. just like travel level, or right. girl at least. And yeah, uh, yeah it should have been uh, more interesting to me. Mm. But my energy just kept the same like flat line thing. Totally. Yeah, okay, cool. And that's why she said, I don't know you, because you didn't share any, and story, you mm. didn't share anything about you. Yeah, that's true. Because she talked so much, I was just... But she asked you, are you on holiday? Yeah. How long are you staying? A week. Oh, <laughs> like, oh yeah. It's she good. asked you. Yeah, it's because... Yeah, she, she was asking and you didn't give her a chance. Uh, you didn't... Didn't really... Act on it. Yeah. The problem was like, in the moment when she asked me that, I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to lie now. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, do I lie? Do I say a month? Do I say a month? Like... Well, you saw the reaction. Yeah. It just threw me off, you know. Good. I feel like I've made a lot of progress progress compared to where I was at the beginning. I feel like I will make more in the following months. It started out really well and now I feel like I'm making the same mistakes. So I'm going to try to be more focused. How, what do I expect in the pending hours? Just make some progress actually, like ask better questions. You're, you're cute. What? You're cute. How are you doing? Uh, great. Yeah. Are you on break? Are you working here? Yes, I'm working there. Oh. Mm, do you like working there? Uh, yeah. Yeah? What do you like about work there? 
I work with books. I didn't hear the last part. I didn't. I did not hear the. Um, would be fine if I sat down with you. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't hear the last part about you work with books, and you like and it because my colleagues are my friends. Oh. So we're a good team. Yeah, that's lovely. Working with your friends is probably fun. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Romania. Romania. Yeah. Have you ever been to Romania? No, but uh, uh, probably in December I will go in Bucharest. Uh, Bucharest, yeah. Is it beautiful there? It's nice. There are some really uh, lovely parks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suppose you now live in Sofia. Have you been born here? No, uh, but you're. For Romanian? No. Partly. Not even a bit. Like my uh, parents come from Moldova, uh -huh. so and they speak Russian. So I look kind of Russian, probably. Yes. I do. Have my, I might have some Russian <laughs> roots. Yeah, but unfortunately, I never learned uh, Russian, and I speak English. So mm -hmm. I'm like American Russian. But you you lived in Romania. in Romania. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Lovely to meet you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. I just wanted to say that uh, you're really cute. Okay. And I would love to talk to you. I'm busy. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem like she was too interested. Were you interested? Reasonably, I guess. Nah. No. Hi, how are you? Mm, I, I think you're cute and I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I just have the fucking flat line voice. <laughs> like you, you were zero interested. Mm. Like no way you believe that you're at all into her. Mm -hmm. Like that's how it's not. Hi, how are you? I want to talk to you. It's like, uh, yeah. no vibe. No clear intention, no power in the voice, not communicating, actually want to talk to her, not respecting her non-verbal boundaries. Mm -hmm. So very clear that she's like, yeah, not giving you the light of day. So again, you have to come in, you have to make them feel like you actually want to talk to them, which you currently, maybe you're tired or whatever, or you're like, oh, this is hard now because Alex is more strict, because we're over the basic approaching. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit like when I was alone in the park, it kind of felt like it felt natural. Yeah. And now it feels like I'm just, Forcing myself to do shit I don't want to. Yeah, but that's what you're here for. Yeah. That's the name of the game. I never mm. want to work out, but I'm working out. Yeah. Because you want to be good at this. You want to have, you know. Yeah. You, you, you think, oh, but I got some numbers. But it's like, not by far not at the level where you can seduce a girl. Like, if you ask me, you know, from one to 100, like, we're still by far not there. That's the reality. And it's my job to get you there. And you need practice. And you need to. Like, I also don't feel like acting in front of a girl. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like reacting sometimes. I don't feel like being activated. I don't feel like getting in front of her. I don't feel like mm -hmm. creating. Mm -hmm. Like, I also just want to say, hey, you're cute. I want to talk to you. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, If, if I could do that every time with a nine yeah. and she still fucks me, yeah. I would do that 100% of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, hey, can you stop? I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Well, hey. Can you stop? I want to talk to you. Hello. <laughs> uh, you're cute. Uh, Bruh. Hmm, didn't work. It still kind of works. So kind of works, yeah, because I look cool. Yeah. Of course I would do that all the time. I don't want to do any of this, you know? Yeah. But you have to, to get the girl because you need to give her energy. If I could coach you like this without putting energy in, I would also do that. Yeah. But I think my people on YouTube wouldn't really like it. It would be yeah. boring to watch. And Probably, yeah. You wouldn't really respect me as a mentor. And you wouldn't, you would quickly get distracted about what I'm saying. So I think the coaching wouldn't work that well. But it yeah. would be much more comfortable for me. This is much easier to talk. Yeah. It saves a lot of energy. And I can just really <laughs> be in my mind. I don't have to scream. I don't have to move. This would be much better. 
But would you still want to coach with me after one day like this? Probably not. No. So I'll probably. I guess I have to be I'll, like that. Then I'll all probably day. just ghost you. Exactly. So that's why I'm like this, yeah. even though it's not my personality, because that's what gets results. Yeah. It's flat as fuck. Yeah. So, give her some energy. Okay. Any type of energy. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you. You're cute. Oh. Warming up a bit. And remember, you can always wave at people. Hello, hi. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day, the sun is shining. And we're having a ginger shot, healthy after a Starbucks coffee to get energized, to, to stay healthy. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful here. You, you, you should come. So who's gonna do it? You. Fuck. <clears throat> Say, wow, your outfit, holy shit. Hey there. Hi. Bruh. <laughs> How did she wave you off? Just like, nah. Yeah, like when uh, we met. Yeah. It felt like I was in flow state. Yeah. Because I just see go act. Yeah, because she just had a few rejections. And it fucks with your momentum. Yeah. You know, it's just like, doesn't feel good when some girls are just like, no, no, no. Obviously. You can shake it off, you can breathe, you can feel the feet on the ground, you can let it go, you know, in, out, micro meditation, or even sit down for a second, mm -hmm. relax, enjoy the sun. Obviously, it doesn't feel good to get rejected, never will. But uh, you're growing with each one. Yeah, maybe that's why my uh, energy was like flat line like that, because I'm just yeah, not feeling good about myself. It's momentum, mm -hmm. sure. And then one or two good ones, and you're back, yeah. back in the game. Yeah. So either this girl chilling there, so you can say, hey, looks like you're relaxing. That um, one, she's with too. her kid. Huh? The one there? Yeah. The, she's or with her kid. She what? She's with her kid. No. I think that was just some other, someone else's kid. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Because the kid is over there now. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, just to relax. Because she's in relaxed energy, so you can be in relaxed energy. Hello. You're cute. Same. How are you doing? Uh, I don't speak English very well. You don't speak English? We could still try talking, if that's all right with you. I don't think I can talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah, she wasn't very attractive, but maybe she's just, you know, mm -hmm. being social. Yeah. And you can give her an honest compliment, which then can be, hey, you look relaxed. Mm -hmm. How is your day? You know, like, you don't have to always compliment on beauty or cute. Mm -hmm. And it's still interacting with a girl is, is a rep. And mm -hmm. we're collecting reps. At the beginning, the vibe is all good, good, good and you can fluff it up a bit, but she's very engaged, so... Yeah, so probably I should... You have just... to move it towards a meeting, otherwise... Yeah, I, I knew, like, because I said, like, we should go, but I wasn't sure if it was the right time to say... Yeah. I should have just tried anyway. You gotta test it, especially since you're leaving. Yeah. You have to be a little more on the side of it's okay to burn it out, you know? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, she's very engaged, so... Yeah. She's was... waiting for you to make a move. Hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. Awesome. I'm going to the work. Oh, I just want to say you, you're cute. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you as well. Is it fine if I walk with you? What? Is it fine if I walk with you for a minute? Okay. Awesome. Most of the job they do. I'm work on ink. Ink. <laughs> you work with ink? In casino. In casino. Oh, okay. And what do you do? Do you deal the cards? Do you... Service? Yes. Oh, so like you bring uh, drinks and stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you like working at the casino? You're still going anyway, because you need the money, I guess. Mm. What's the worst part about uh, working at a casino? Uh, not sleeping. 
Oh, because do you work at night or do you have like night shifts? Night and uh, all day. Mm -hmm. So hard. But it's good. Hmm. And what do you do? What do you want to do after this job? Uh, nothing. Just living. Nothing? <laughs> you just want to live? Yes. Mm. My parents help me. Mm -hmm. Well, what my. Do, do? Um, well, right now I'm on vacation here, okay. meeting with some friends, and. Uh, You're a photographer. You think I'm a photographer? Yes. No, uh, okay. but I do like taking photos. Just I stopped. <laughs> but I should start again. Because I'm really like good at noticing. Let's say a beautiful nature, and I take really good pictures of nature. But you're not a photographer. No, but I'm actually I've been thinking of starting. Uh, by the way, my friends are waiting for me because I just ran after you. But I would love to get your uh, Instagram. It's easier if you just okay. write it in yourself. Yeah. There you go. That's me. Sweet. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. bye. Hey, you're a cool yeah. person. Hey, you're very lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. Um, want to hear that, but definitely she felt your energy well and was also good authority. You could even say, instead of, hey, can I walk with you for a bit? Just like, hey, I'll walk with you for two minutes, right? It's like when you kind of assume that she's friendly and she's open mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. you can tell her, hey, I'll walk with you then for two minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she can still say, no, 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 I want to walk alone, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But... It's you can have like if she gives you good vibes, you can show authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it needs to be balanced. Obviously, you cannot just do it when like she's not everyone. comfortable with you. But she was like she was friendly. She even said you look cute too. You know that's yeah. Yeah. that's a great green check mark. Yeah, she's like you're attractive as well. Yeah, exactly. So then we can be a bit more bossy. You know, I wanted to ask something, but I lost my thought. Oh yeah, it's like it was hard to like balance all the elements while I was uh, like. <laughs> having a hard time keeping up with her because she was walking so fast. Yeah, and she really needed to go somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like she was late for work or, or yeah. work starts soon. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. So it's like, I mustn't like... Yeah, it is hard. ...fall behind her and also have to think of everything. Yeah. Yeah, that is hard. Uh, just basically short and high impact mm -hmm. and then closing Yeah, is what I do. Yeah, I also asked like, uh, do you enjoy walking at the casino? And she's like, no. Yeah. I should have probably asked, like, uh, what's the worst? Oh, I actually did ask what's the worst part about. What's the worst part about? You could, because it's creative, but you could also turn it into something positive, which is like, okay, cool, when you're done with working at the casino, mm -hmm. what is your dream job? Or what, what are you saving money for then, you know? Or mm -hmm. What are you saving up for, like... I, actually, I did ask that. I ah, asked, cool. uh, like, uh, what, are you, what do you want to do after you're done with the casino? Oh, yeah, that's better, because now we're putting her in a positive vibe. You know? Yeah. Not and in like, what do you hate about it? Can you explain more about yeah. the negative feelings? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Actually, like Liam said, I should ask, like, uh, what do you hate about this or that? Yeah. Because it's more, it's easier to bring out emotion that way. More impactful. That yeah. is true, right? You can ask one question about it. If it's lighthearted still, yeah. that's fine. It has impact. But you don't want to dig in forever. You know, if she hates her boss, yeah, you and don't then you ask, to... oh, what did he say? Oh, really? And then, well, you know... How... Yeah, because uh, I believe she associates those emotions then with me. Cause... Yeah. And now then you're turning also kind of into therapist and it's not really the archetype that you want to be, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, tell me more. Like, it could also come off as a little nice guy. -y. Yeah. And uh, she asked me if I was a photographer. Ah, wow. Is it because of... Well, what else would be? <laughs> Where's your camera? Yeah. It can't be not. It, it can't be the non non-existing camera. <laughs> so.
So it must be that, yeah. Mm -hmm. The vibe. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm dressed like one. So. Well, I dressed you and I'm one, so probably I... Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it colored off. So, what about this luxury girl? I don't feel comfortable with that at all. With that type of girl? Yeah. I mean, it's not my type. Because it kind of like shows her personality as well, but maybe a good friend to have. Maybe a good girl to bring to the club, you know? Mm. To like, just represent. <laughs> she can be your representative. Yeah, like this kind of girl, I would approach, if I would approach her, I would approach her in a way of like, uh, well, and she's super cute. Yeah. She's going to Metro in 10 seconds. Mm. If you want to catch her. Uh, wait, wait, we're filming. Because it's so. No, don't. You go, you go. Oh. I've just made Nikki should wait. Yeah, it's getting a it's fun. Getting a thing. It's like, like, you have such a fashionable, like, you're so cute and fashionable. I had to come on the escalator with you. Just talk to her on the escalator. Hey. Hey. You just, I saw and you're so cute. Oh, and I had to come talk to you. Oh, I had to come talk to you because, oh, yeah. Hi. Um, where are you heading? Where are you heading? I'm going home because I had to study. Yeah? I was at the university and now I'm going to talk. And uh, what do you study in the university? Yes, in the medical university. Medical university? Yes. Oh, so you're really smart then. <laughs> um, you live here, I suppose? Uh, in yes. Sofia? For the next years I will live here. For the next year? Mm -hmm. Five years. Oh, five years more, so you just started? Yes. Oh, how old are you, by the way? Uh, 19. Oh, I see. You're <laughs> yeah. quite young. You're beautiful, by Thank the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, is it cool if I get your Instagram? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, can I just add okay, myself? Yes, of course. There you go. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you as well. Uh, nice Have a good day. Good reaction, actually. Hmm? She was like a bit unsure, but also like friendly and. Yeah, she felt that. I think she really felt that. Because mm -hmm. right? you can't fake that. You're like, hi, I came. Like, that's already so much energy that you put in. Mm -hmm. And like, it's super charming. It's cute. I had to come. Mm -hmm. Like, she really felt that. Mm -hmm. And maybe she was even a bit nervous about it. Yeah, it's sure, a sure. strange situation. Yeah, sure. And then you have to hold that and basically tell her, hey, it's cute. You can even call it out like, hey, you're nervous. It's fine. Don't worry about it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you, you have her, you control her. Um, it's super charming. She feels it. You mm -hmm. know, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah. that is romantic. It's like in a movie, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So that's what we want to get at. She, she feels really special now. She doesn't feel like you, you she's the 10th girl that you're talking to on the escalator because yeah. it's so rare yeah so you want to get that emotion into every interaction yeah because it they really feel it and then she's like yeah sure yeah you know? and I, I feel like even though she was wearing eyeglasses i felt a little bit of attraction yeah well that's good Strokes, cut throat from the low low when no love goes. Women buddy buddy like a spin dad. When a fuck me looking at the bill stack. Can you give me a few funny catchphrases from Counter Strike? Have you played this game? Uh, wait, can I swear? You can. We'll go. We're gonna mute it. Uh, to be honest, no. The last time I played Counter Strike is 12 years ago. So you don't remember none. No. No. Uh, I was very bad. I was like in a school with like uh, basically a lot of nerds and I'm a nerd myself. It was like computer programming and they just played like eight hours a day. Okay. And I played like here and there and I just got killed every time. I don't remember. Well, unfortunately I can't give you no prizes because this was the answer. You should have given me at least one and okay. I would have given you a prize. Who knows? You know Counter-Strike. I do. Can you, you know. help me out? Can you help Give him help the you? voucher. Okay. Come on, a few catchphrases. Yeah. The, that people used to say. Oh, it's like fire in the hole or... Uh... Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe another Rush one. B. <laughs> okay, maybe one in Russian that the people used to say. Sukhavdat. Oh, okay. I could have said Sukhavdat. <laughs> maybe one more. <laughs> was like counter terrorist win. Or it's... Okay, that's fair. I'm going to accept that. So, man, now I'm going to give you my price. Uh, you can go play Airsoft. Oh, In the awesome. town of Belograd, Chik. Awesome. Thank yeah. you.
It's in a beautiful Bulgarian. It's in the beautiful Bulgarian countryside, so you can go check it out, play some airsoft. And yeah. I hope you enjoy my. Price. I've never played airsoft before, but That's I'm sick. sure gonna yeah, try it. First for everything. Do you yeah. like airsoft? Me, I yes. haven't actually played airsoft. Ah. I'm gonna switch to Bulgarian. Nači viste kolegi, ja sam igrao airsoft, ali mogu razdam, kaču mola da me pratite na airsoft. I just uh, asked to, to be sent to play airsoft because I haven't yeah. tried it, and I'm giving it out as a prize. That's sick. Do you know Novrich by any chance? Novrich? Yeah. No? It's like biggest YouTube channel of airsoft. Ah, no, I haven't heard yeah. it. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank Hope you, man. enjoy the prize. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Okay, cool. good. I try. Peace. Ah, nice one. Okay. <laughs> I had no chance. Yeah. Just like, it was over before it even started for yeah. me. My Counter-Strike career is very embarrassing. Well, airsoft. Yeah. That's funny. Novridge. He's my best friend from Austria, mm -hmm. and they're running the biggest the YouTube biggest channel, team. and they're doing now, they're selling their own guns. She looks super hot, by the way. Come on, you can cross over here. Hey there. Bono? How are you doing? Wait. Uh, you said Buno. What? Oh, okay. You're from here, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, You're not from the city. Oh. You just look sexy, so I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, no, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm that's cool. Born. See ya. <sighs> Wait, what happened? She's Brazilian? Uh, no. I she's from the city. Uh, she said, uh, uh, when I, I said you have, you're sexy, so I just wanted to talk to you. Sexy. Um, she said, no, I have a boyfriend. Uh, I want to go. Ah, okay. I understood I'm Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good. You ran. Yeah. You came up to her. With running, one thing you can do is slow down the last two steps, which you did actually, to not bring this crazy stressful energy into the interaction. Like yeah. you can run, catch up, and then come in smoothly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You made it clear. It's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you gave her the chance to. Yeah, almost like when it's like this, I, yeah, it feels it, good. It feels good. Yeah. Like okay, like I, we did our job. Exactly. Bruh. Hi, I just wanted to say that uh, your outfit and hair looks beautiful. Thank you. Yours too. And Thank your you. Eyes. Yours too. <laughs> Have a good day. Wait, she said your eyes something? Yeah, she said my eyes look beautiful. Wow, and then she walked away. No, I, um, I saw her face and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, like that happens sometimes. I uh, haven't done like two girls at the same time. Yeah. So I need to do some of those. Okay, let's because, do that today. Uh, yesterday with Liam I did three, but usually when I, do, when I did two sets of three, uh, the two girls went to talk by themselves and let us, Okay. right? But well, you know, also with two girls it would be like one of them would just be standing there. Yeah. So I would need to address her somehow. To be able to deal with that, yeah. yeah. I mean, basically the way you deal with that is you don't, you make sure both feel good, right? Otherwise, yeah. one will become, she should be your friend, not your enemy. Yeah. yeah. And to be your friend, you need to involve her, you need to compliment her, you need to show that you're obviously a fun guy, mm -hmm. uh, you need to show that you're aware that this is like a, has a time limit, you're not gonna waste their whole afternoon, or mm -hmm. that you're not clingy, you know? Yeah. You're just here to give a quick kind of like impulse and input and positive vibes, and you know, and then you're out. Yeah, that like, way they're gonna be on your side. Wow, imagine an instant date with two girls. At the same, at the same time. time. <laughs> and then just pull threesome. Yeah, that would be crazy. Threesome in like an now hour. I don't think about it, maybe that should be my next goal. <laughs> hey. I noticed you taking the picture, it was really cute. Oh, you don't speak English? I do. You do, but she doesn't. Ask me. No, oh. she doesn't. Well, tell her she's cute. Because of it, she's what? I think I she says thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's good. You have green eyes like me. Yeah. My more grey, but yeah, yeah. yours are real green. So what are you doing here? No location. Mm, My friends where are you from? There. I'm from Romania. Oh. Oh. Um, 
Maya. 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 Maya.
to then go up the pyramid to basically raise your score as a man. <coughs> like if we would like give a, a super attractive man like a hundred points, like how do you form these points? Mm. That's the one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it, how do you get access to super attractive, high value women? You know, that can be on different scales. Like some are more focused on beauty, others are more focused on like super career girls, mm -hmm. others are more focused on super social girls or very fun girls or inter intellectual girls. But at the end of the day, you need to offer them something. Yeah. And to even have access to these women, cold approach is really good because you can talk to them on the street. You can like enter their world for free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in their circle yet, but you have to offer them something in terms of experience, in terms of what, who are you as a guy, uh, how you communicate with them, can you hold space for them, can you fuck them well, can you stimulate them creatively, you know, do you know about culture a little bit, you don't have to be an artist, but do you can entertain them, can you make them laugh, that's all like your character and your personality, yeah. and then it's also like, can you go on adventures with them, do you travel sometimes, which you already do, like I heard, you do cool stuff, so what is your lifestyle? How is your community? How is your friend circle? All that stuff. Mm. Is that Jack? Wait a second. I think I know this guy. Jack! I'll text him. I think that's an ex-student. And the way he walks and the short hair. Oh, and I went skydiving with him. He invited me to skydiving. Which is exactly the topic. He had something to offer. Mm. This guy would just walk past. Yeah. And he just asked me, hey Alex, you want to come skydiving with us tomorrow? And I'm like, okay, you know. That was easy for me to say yes to. Yeah. I would have never done it by myself. I wouldn't have researched a place. I wouldn't have bought a ticket, go by myself. But all he did is like, hey, we're going tomorrow. You want to come? Yes. Mm -hmm. All it took is one word and I had this amazing experience. Yeah. So that's kind of like going with what I just said. It's like, what do you offer the women? But then let's talk about your whole environment. Lifestyle. Yeah. And I would start it with, who are your friends? So how is your social circle now? Male, male social circle, let's say. Mm, well, I mean, it doesn't really exist. Not in one place. I have friends in like different countries. Yeah. But Why like, do you think that is? Because I was not social at all and uh, didn't talk to anyone. Yeah. And how many people live in your town? Like 200,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like not big enough to have like certain subcultures inside of one city, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, well, it's also good. So you don't, you don't have friends, which means you also don't have toxic friends. Because That's often true. what happens is, you know. They hold you back. They hold you back and you, you really leveled up a lot in the last five days. So it, you basically changed a lot and people who know you or have known you before. Yeah they will feel a bit weird about you now. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, holy shit, this guy's like approaching, he's getting numbers, he's going on dates. It's like, it's, it can be unsettling for people who are not upgrading as fast, yeah. right? Like you're shedding and you, you're involving and you're kind of reminding them of that they're lazy and it's not good for their ego. So, okay, maybe you don't have that problem because you don't have that many friends. Yeah. So, but the flip side of that is you should definitely find people who are on the same level, like who are also evolving, who push themselves, who are not happy with the status quo, who have a vision, you know, who have goals, yeah. who go for it, who invest, who make money, who think differently. And it's your 100% the same with this thing. You have to take ownership about that and it's your duty to find these guys. Yeah. And it's arguably uh, has a bigger effect on your life than the girls dating really hot girls, yeah. right? Because like, if you have a strong male network who all are on it and work out and make money and do cool shit and travel, like girls will be attracted to that anyway. Like yeah. then game becomes easier as well, you know. Like at the end of the day, the hottest girls, like the, the dudes who have the hottest girls are not the best day gamers in the world. It's like status and social circle. Yeah, it's all together. It's the guy who has mm -hmm. good game, sure, but then combines it with good social circle combines it with looking good, working out, combines mm -hmm. it with doing cool shit. You know, that's... Oh, it's everything. The game then is like the, the last thing that follows through to the escalation, to actually having sex and not just being around hot girls, but actually 
yeah. dating them and fucking them. Yeah, it's like they already want to fuck you. They just you just don't have you have to not fuck it up. Yeah, right. That's where the game comes in, and that's why it's just a, the amazing foundation. But like, day game has its limits. I mean, you by far are not there. <laughs> yeah. Like you need to do like another 500 to 1,000 approaches, mm -hmm. but you should already plant the seeds of what's next. Yeah, which is how you're gonna create a cool network of powerful men and interesting sexy women. So what do you think you have to do to get there? Yeah, I have to do everything. It's like, in the first place, I uh, didn't really do much work on myself till like two and a half years ago. Yeah. So I'm painfully aware of my uh, shortcomings already. Yeah. I know I have to level up in all, in all areas of life. Okay, so what's the next step for you then? Like brainstorm what, how do your next six months look like? I mean, we have time in the online yeah. STP program that you're part of, but uh, what do you think? So I need to move away since I still live with my parents right now. Afterwards, probably move to a bigger sized city. So I have access to more people, more opportunities. Yeah, you can do that all in one move, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. get uh, into the gym, eat well. So I start building muscle. Yeah. Since my appetite is so small, I have I really have trouble eating enough. Mm, same. To get a hobby, probably like photography or rock climbing or something, I can invite other people to. So it's not just me by myself in my room. And a hobby that, yeah, women are there already as well. Mm -hmm. So not a male dominant activity. Uh, you can also do that. I mean, you can do like you know fighting. I can have multiple hobbies. Yeah. Can do oh yeah. yeah. Especially with like your crazy schedule which is like you just have a lot of time mm. like use it so when do you think you're gonna move out and move to Bucharest or other big city probably within a few weeks like two three weeks sick <laughs> that's fast. Yeah. I love it executing fast uh, it's gonna be so exciting to see what's happening this is fun that we work together online because we can do a follow-up interview in like five months yeah and that see what so, the progress is that would be crazy there you're gonna build a social circle so activities, and you can use everything you learned here to make friends with dudes, right? Like the principles of creating comfort mm -hmm. and then creating connection and maybe even giving a compliment. You know, hey, dude, wow, I like that Watch shirt. That shirt. What's that yeah. brand? You know, oh, wow, you're a good, you're a good climber. How long have you been doing this? Uh, comfort, mm -hmm. comfort, and then connection. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. wow. It, you can use the exact same thing with dudes, right? And then close them on Instagram. Social media is going to be important for you. Good, we did the photos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deliver them in the next few days as yeah. a feed. So you have a base where girls see you have more. Then you obviously have to add more elements, which is activity, uh, which is social circle. Like now you got the cool modeling kind of shots and moving around shots, but you lack the social circle shots and uh, the activity shots. So you have to create them by yourself. I would, in your uh, case, pick up one skill that is in the realm of sensuality. Mm -hmm. So that could be salsa dancing or any form of Latin dance. It could be massage, like mm -hmm. doing a massage workshop. Mm -hmm. um, it could be some form of movement practice, like yoga or qigong mm -hmm. or other form of dance or slow movement. Yeah. I mean, you get why. It's just like you need to, you're still a very stiff, you need to be in your body more, you need to know how to move, you need to know how to yeah. touch. Honestly, like yoga sounds good because I'm my neck is so fucked. I need to do yeah. stretch. I need to get into stretching anyway. Yeah. Then the question is who keeps you accountable for it? Because I know it myself if I don't have a person <coughs> who comes. Like in Ukraine, I just paid a girl to show up to my house. Mm -hmm. And that's the only time I did it. Yeah. And then during uh, lockdown with Liam. but. Maybe you can build a social circle and pay a girl. Like I paid her like 10 bucks a session. Like it was oh, cheap. Okay. And she'd come to our house and we, both me and Liam did yoga. Mm -hmm. With a sexy girl, you know, it's like, I mean, it's, yeah. she was a friend, not to pick her up, but uh, you need to create some hack that keeps her accountable. And you, mm -hmm. Using money is obviously a good way. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, add one of, if you add two hobbies or three, like step by step, but like add one uh, central one. Mm -hmm. Because you need it, like you're stiff, your, your moves are erratic, you need to, you need the central part in you more. Yeah, I'm very, like my, let's say consciousness is always in my head. Yeah. 
you need to and I'm your never body. like you. You need to learn how to use your hands well, how to use your whole body, how to, mm -hmm. how to move through space, how to present yourself in that way, you know. Like, yeah. girls analyze all that stuff. Like, they look at a guy, like, how fast does he move? Where does he look always? How does he drink? Mm -hmm. How does he eat his food? Uh, how does he walk? You know, you saw that guy, he's very like, he walks like this, maybe too, whatever, you know. Yeah. But like, constantly it's telling something about you. And one more hobby. Should it be like photography? I kind of like taking pictures. Yeah. I mean, that's, photography is a crazy hack. Mm -hmm. Because content is such a currency for women. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy, it's like an undervalued asset. <laughs> it's like... It's so easy to yeah. get a yes from a girl when the pitch is, I'll shoot you. And if you're then actually good and you're not like sleazing on her, mm -hmm. you're actually a little bit professional, but yeah. then use it to bring her in your circle. Mm -hmm. They really value that. Like, girls love content. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I see, because you can take her, like, you can take Instagram pictures, for example. Yeah, and everybody is always on Instagram. And having a good Instagram profile is an asset for everyone, so you're basically creating value for them mm -hmm. if you're good at taking photos. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's a really good one. That is important. Then commit to two things. Uh, commit to two approaches a day, mm -hmm. minimum. Yeah. Which means you get a coffee, you get a tea. You don't drink coffee, you get a tea, you get a juice, you walk to the bank, you get a pair of socks, you buy an apple, whatever, you buy a new cable. And on the way you do an approach, right? Yeah. Uh, just like one a day in your daily life without, oh my God, without needing to be pushed to do it. Yeah. That's, that's a must. And the second thing is you have to book in three times a week, uh, like a session where you're like, now it's like day game session. Like you're imagining that the coach is with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like at so least like, 60 to 90 minutes, mm -hmm. like a gym session. Should I just be looking for uh, three, two to three times a week? Yeah, it's like a, you put it in your calendar. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a non-negotiable time where you like focus super on it and then you can use one session to focus on one thing. So you can say this session, I, I do, this. Mm -hmm. do really elaborate openers. Mm -hmm. or this session, I'm only talking to, you know, pairs or two girls or mm -hmm. three girls. And you can even put in a calendar where you're going to be. You know, it's like really like going to the gym. Like imagine your coach is waiting for you. Day game, day game gym. Yeah, day game, the social gym. Mm -hmm. It's like seeing your social muscles. If you are analytical and like taking notes, then take notes of the approaches. Mm -hmm. Some guys do that, like make a spreadsheet or an Excel sheet or something on your phone. That kind of counts how many approaches you've done, yeah. how many numbers you got, yeah. how many dates you got out of it, you know. I'm not really looking for like stats in that way. I, I notice yeah. really like my evolution comes just from uh, doing just the approach, like yeah. the, the feelings I get, the experience I get that evolves me by itself. Yeah, I, I never took notes, I tried, it wasn't for me. But uh, you can if you if it's easy for you. But mm -hmm. for me, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't really care either. Like I don't need a, the exact number. And I just need to progress. Yeah. And then kind of like the last advice I would give, but we'll talk anyway for the next six months is don't get a girlfriend. Like don't commit to one girl. Yeah. It's gonna put everything you learn now on. Pause, pause and it's gonna just degrade yeah like you are in building mode you're in development mode you're in learning mode you're in transformation mode in gaining as much knowledge as possible mode and the girlfriend is just gonna make you comfy and lazy yeah you're just gonna be like oh netflix and chill yeah you know? all day yeah and then you're not a lion you're just a little donkey yeah <laughs> uh, and you need to be in lion mindset yeah. You can have lovers, of course, you can have girls you fuck, girls who come over, uh, but as soon as the discussion comes up of like, what are we? Yeah, And no. like, you know, it feels like she's expecting you to be committed. Mm -hmm. You just have to tell her like, I'm not. Like, I like you, but I'm mean, not, not in the time of my life where I want to commit to one girl. Yeah. Or however you want to phrase it. Or yeah, I mean that that's that like what what you said is true. Like yeah. literally I'm not in the time of my life to Yeah. Depending how harsh that sounds, but like that's an uncomfortable 
conversation maybe, especially if you like a girl and it does feel good to be with her. Yeah. Like, you know, doing Netflix and chill with a girl feels obviously amazing. Like, it can be really fun. And yeah. some girls are really cool. And you, the, the more you upgra upgrade, the harder the girls are going to be. And you're going to be like, oh my God. Yeah, it's like, like, I don't really want to lose this one. Yeah. Exactly. And then you're going to lose her and you're like, oh, and then you question, ask yourself, but you have to kind of like eye on the ball, you know? Yeah, I see. Like, it's, this is not a one year thing. This is a 10, 15 year thing. Mm -hmm. And you basically start it now. Yeah. Make social media habits. I mean, I know it's annoying. We're doing a good kickstart yeah. now here. Uh, I mean, we could do a follow-up thing in two or three months if you want to do a coaching in Bucharest on Social Circle. That would be interesting. We could, like, like live. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna come to Bucharest? Potentially. The money is right. <laughs> oh yeah. Find girls, make friends on the street, also through Circle. Maybe we use Tilted. Uh, a little bit and create house parties like you know yeah, what we did here but with social circles yeah it's like get me started on yeah. social circles get content of you during that whole week mm. different type of content yeah. uh, and teach you the principles of that because it is quite different to being at a house party with hot girls than being on the street it's yeah. a different way of communicating different way of approaching different mindsets yeah you know here it's more hunting like we're out we look and then in the house party, it's more like chill, more farming. Yeah, you kind of just later. social talk and not Yeah, you don't hitting. have to escalate yeah. for it. Yeah. So it's different. Maybe for you in two or three months, it could be an interesting option. Yeah. When you then move there, yeah. I guess you'll get a nice place in Bucharest. Like you saw our place and we're just two guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't really see it, but there's no, another two bedrooms the, upstairs, upstairs and there's a rooftop. Oh, so you can go on the rooftop as well? Yeah. There's okay, a rooftop so that sees the whole city, there's a gym upstairs, and there's four bedrooms too. Oh, there's a and gym one too? one bedroom has two double beds in it. Holy fuck. <laughs> Liam said it's like only 1,600 a month. 1,800, yeah. 1,800. Well, that's still... No, wait, 1,600. Yeah, yeah, he's right, wait. Yeah, 1,600. Like, for what you're getting here, I thought it's like, maybe like, you know, what you had, what I saw in like, one more level, but you even have the rooftop and the gym and... That's an incredible deal. We're not done. Man. That was a lot. You got the audio, you got the video. Mm -hmm. Take notes of that, but that's the game plan for the next three to six months. Yeah. Cool. Build All habits, right. then social circle. Good job. Thank you. Well done. And peace out. I can do this with my eyes closed. Be able to approach and to meet people whenever I want to and to be like feel comfortable in conversation and I've achieved that the most shocking moment for me hmm. I think it was when uh, this uh, really cute girl like well, she was really into me and she was like way cuter than uh, I thought would be possible that you know she was too cute for me <laughs> but she was actually into me yeah I'm excited for the future my life is now way more let's say open and free and I can talk to people anytime I want. Well, I expect that uh, I'll be able to make friends and girlfriends and meet new people and network and make connections. Life is just more interesting when there's more you can talk to people so I expect my life will take a really positive turn from here on. The thing I liked most about Alex is that he's direct, he will just tell you how it is. He is really knowledgeable and he's got a lot of experience. Like when he gives you advice, you better follow the advice. Yeah, I think this would work for uh, other introverts and analytical thinkers because it's really about overcoming your uh, fears and feeling comfortable going after what you want. It's not even about introverts, it's about being human and going after what you want. I almost feel comfortable, right, with approaching, almost. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I go home now, I'll be able to do it. It'll just be like part of my daily lifestyle, just, you know, that stop off. Stop off your girls because they're cute. That is amazing. I mean, that is literally the goal you had coming yeah, in here. Exactly. We can cut to that moment. <laughs> um, that's great. Makes me happy that you reached that goal. Yeah. The signs that I was making uh, progress during the workshop were that initially Alex had to like be behind me and sort of push me to approach. But as time went on, a few like after like two or three days, I started approaching by myself, and I was able to just bring myself to do it even when Alex wasn't here and even when like it's not like he told me to do it I just did it of my own will you don't have any issues anymore walking up to girls and giving them direct compliments 
yeah. getting into conversations. So that's how I knew that now I have this skill and I can take it with me home. Yeah. Well, thank you, Alex, for the effort you put in into my coaching. And thanks, Liam, as well. You really helped me, too. And uh, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. And real quick, below, two links. Work with James Marshall in June in Budapest with the Natural Lifestyles on a live workshop or work with me online. Fill out the forms below, free consultation calls, you have nothing to lose. We're gonna assess your situation and help you the best way possible for free in the first session. So do it now. Thank you, like the video and see you in the next one. I've been deep down stuck in the gutter. I've been off the grid for days. I've been lost just trying to forget her. But I wake up and nothing's changed. I've been gone down, lost in the letters, trying to get back into place. I've been losing ground in the lost and found, cause I let it slip away.